in any plot. It could be man versus nature or man versus man. What we're doing, it's more like man with nature or man versus himself. I want to see what I can do, what I'm capable of. I feel like you have to have an explorer spirit in order to really appreciate this place. You really have to be adventurous and really ready to take on anything. Yeah, it'll be fun. You do have that feeling like you're discovering this landscape. What's up this pass? What kind of view do I get from the top of this mountain? Yeah. Denali sometimes sets a really high bar. When the bar is set high, I like reaching it. That first trip was one of the biggest adventures that I've ever had. It's so exciting to know that you're about to start this awesome journey. I'm about to begin something that will probably change me in some way, will be really hard in some way, and will also be really fun in some way. I really enjoy feeling small and swallowed up and part of that experience is that exploration and diving into a place, into the unknown. Why does McKinley tempt the world's top mountaineers? Hemmed in by the increasing complexities of civilization, we all feel a special joy in coming face to face with the best that nature has to offer. I think having mystery and surprise in your life is pretty special. There's still a waterfall coming down over there. Uh -huh. It's a huge one. And out there, it's unavoidable. It's kind of what keeps driving most of us. Go head it up onto the traverse tomorrow. We're all pretty excited, a little bit nervous. There's 4,000 foot wall upon 4,000 foot wall, things that make the walls in Yosemite look small. Update is we're summit of the Sugar Tooth. Psyched about that, but um, definitely a humbling day. When you are stripped of everything except basic elements of survival, it's insane what you can push yourself to do and who you become because of that. Getting really close. You feel alive. Everything is activated. Nature is a powerful force. Something that's that big of a deal, like it can change you. We were trying to get over this pass, and it was just whiteout conditions. We were caught out in a storm that totally just pinned us to the ground. And then the wind is whipping over the top of the ridge. That was the most difficult day I have had. Wow, I can't believe I did that. I feel really good about that. That's my favorite kind of trip, is when it is challenging. Feeling capable of meeting that challenge, that's a very satisfying thing. That is what Denali is about. It forces you to come face to face with the thing that's scary or the thing that you're uncomfortable with and makes you overcome it. There's nothing better in the world than that. That's how you know what you're made of. The same things that can break you down can lift you up. Nice job. You know, those things, they help you grow and they shape who you are and I think they make you who you are. It's a totally different feeling and people who want to appreciate it can come here and appreciate it. And if we take that away, there's nowhere left for them to go. You can almost imagine zooming out from that spot and there's all this space and then there's you, that little speck down there, and it's like, wow, like, me, little me, this little speck, like, I can still make my way in this world. I could do this forever. Thank you.